So let's jump right into it and let's kick this video right off. First off, if you are a white belt, thank you for watching the video. And I wanna say congratulations on starting your journey. I hope you're enjoying it and stay the course. Keep learning and keep growing, that's important. Don't quit. So in the spirit of that, I wanna give you some advice. Now these are three tips that I think are very important when it comes to um, starting your journey. Now these are things, it doesn't matter if you're a white belt, if you're blue belt, purple belt, uh, and you're struggling through a few of these things, uh, this could be advice for you as well. Like I always feel that you're never beyond the fundamentals or the basics. So tip number one, patience. Patience, patience, patience. Look, you need to be okay with a lot of things when you first start jujitsu. And these things can be very stressful. Number one is just the, the, the brutality of it as far as when you first start, it feels brutal. It's, it's a lot of impact, it's a lot of pressure. It becomes very stressful. A lot of people wilt underneath that pressure. This is why 90% of the people who start jujitsu do not even make it to blue belt. So be patient because you want the answers fast. You wanna be able to defend yourself or get out of bad positions. You wanna be able to, to catch people the way they're catching you. You want the things that you're seeing and on a very basic level, you want to just survive the things that are happening to you. And you want it fast. Unfortunately, this is jujitsu, guys. It just is not going to happen fast. So you need a lot of patience. I also tell people you have to get very comfortable with being uncomfortable. And when you start, the discomfort you feel, eventually you become comfortable with those things. When that happens, that's when your growth sets because then you don't stress about those things, you don't panic about it, and then you're able to really pay attention and focus on the techniques and the moves. But again, that just ties to patience. So patience, be patient. Now, another part of patience, of being patient is, is kind of letting go of your ego, right? I, I see so much ego on the mats, especially when people begin. Um, so letting go of your ego uh, is the second tip in the, in the vein of humility. So tip number two is humility. It's very important. You need to let go of who you thought you were because if you don't, that harsh reality is gonna kick you in the face if it hasn't already. You're a big guy, you're a strong guy, you're a fast guy, you're an athletic guy, you thought you would do better. Whatever you've told yourself when you started, however you felt about it, the hard truths have probably been laid on you at this point and you're struggling with that. That is because you're still attached to some ego. Those things you kinda of have to shatter them, man. You have to break them all the way down to the foundation. Start anew. And remember, you are nobody right now as far as what you know and what you can do. You will absolutely grow to be somebody if you are patient, humble, and you pay attention, and then you can learn. But I see so many people struggle, man. I see people come in and when they roll with me or one of the higher belts and they, they can't stop what's happening to them, they start slamming their hands on the mat, they start growling, they start cussing to themselves. Man, if you do jujitsu, you've probably seen these people. I, I feel all that energy and aggression, uh, and that's, that's, that part of that is nerves, the other part of it is like an inability to solve the problem. And it's because they, again, I remember going through this myself, I'm a big guy, and at the time I remember I was a big, I was bigger and stronger. And I just thought I could do more, I should be able to do more. I, I went in thinking I was gonna just breeze it through it, like I was gonna be good at it fast. And I had a rude awakening, I crashed hard but it was great for me. And through talking to teammates and professors, I was so happy for the humility I gained. And finally, when I was able to absorb that and really uh, become humble and accepting of what could happen to me, then I was able to grow. So be humble and be patient. Now onto this final tip. This is the golden nugget of this video. The final tip is, listen, position over submission. This is so important that I used to have it stitched into a couple of my geese. This is not just a white belt tip, this is a tip for everyone. If you don't know how to properly really get into a position and then hold that position, if you have no control of, of an opponent in those positions, why are you looking for submissions? You need to learn how to properly gain the position and set the position, and then hold the position. From there, you could submit people very easily, but people just, they, it's not sexy enough. They wanna go right into submissions. And so in those classes when we teach submissions, people put all their focus on the submission part and they don't focus on all the setup and, 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 and the position. They just go to submission. I know this because when I go up to students to help them uh, as they're drilling, they don't even know how to start. They forgot the beginning because they were so focused on the end. The way I like to do it and the way I explain it is, 
I like to have so much control in, in specific positions that I could go as slow as I want in submitting you and you can't do anything about it. Of course there's gotcha submissions, there's quick submissions and a scramble, of course. But you gain those by going slow first, by having full control of something, understanding all the ins and outs of how to control that person and get that submission. Slow and clean. Once you have that, when you have to snatch it fast, it's just about speeding it up because you know where to put yourself and how to lock everything in and so on and so forth. I say this all the time to my students. If you can't do it slow, you can't do it fast. That's in grappling and striking. Everyone wants to go fast, real fast. They think that somehow speed is going to give them the answer. And it's not because you don't have the technique. Pull things back a little bit. Slow yourself down again. Be patient. Be humble and understand that you need to gain position before submission. When you're watching your professor show the moves, focus on the position. How is he gaining the position? Because the position provides control. From that control, you can submit people. If you can't control them or control the part of their body that you're trying to attack, you can't submit them. And if you don't understand what position puts you in control again? Look, I can do this all day. Keep it simple. Position over submission. Okay, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope this information was helpful. Uh, again, please like and subscribe so we can keep this thing going. And I will see you in the next video.